everybody. Um, I'm just here to uh, give you some tips and tricks about playing the clarinet because when we're in class we're wearing masks and it's a little bit tricky. So um, here's some ways you can see me doing it um, without the mask on and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks like hey if this is happening try this instead all of those sort of things. So when you have your mouthpiece in barrel we call this our small instrument. Okay, now again, most of you are going to have the black ligature, which has the screw on the front side. So mine's a little different looking, but that's okay. So the biggest thing we want to do when we're playing clarinet is we want firm corners and a firm chin because we want a nice solid foundation for the mouthpiece to sit on. So there's a couple different ways you can think about it. So one of the ways is if I'm drinking like a really thick milkshake out of a straw, my face would look like this. And you can see how I get these dimples here and then my chin flattens. You see my chin starts to point towards the ground. So milkshake. Okay, so see here and here. Now, another important thing when we're playing the clarinet is we want our bottom lip tucked over our bottom teeth. Like this. The easiest way to do that is to say all. And you can see how you can't see my bottom teeth because my lip is tucked over it. So, if we say, ah, and then we put our mouthpiece on top of it, not very much, okay? So only, you can see, about that on. Then, I'm gonna close my teeth down, close my lips around it, and then we'll have our embouchure, which is our face position. So watch what I'm doing here and try to imitate it. Um, if you have a mirror or you can look at your phone camera. So, ah, uh, here. And then we close our top teeth down and then we just tuck everything. And you should feel kind of your corners pulling back a little bit. Okay, another way that I can make the clarinet embouchure is to say, e Now you see when I say e, my corners come out. And then when I say you, they come pulled down and in. So e And that tucks my bottom lip. Okay. And then I've got the little bed for my instrument to go on. So here we go. E U. Over. Uh. Teeth closed. Close my lips. Okay. So a couple things. If I'm doing this, If I'm puffing my cheeks out, a lot of my air is escaping, okay, and it's not focusing into the mouthpiece. Now, sometimes we'll we'll have everything right. We'll do our e u, okay, and you'll notice that I'm not putting much mouthpiece in. You can see my little grooves here, so my top teeth rest about a pinky nails width down the mouthpiece. Another way you can check this is if you have like an index card or a piece of paper and you slide it in there and that's about how far down you go okay so <clears throat> biggest thing is bottom lip or bottom teeth top teeth on the mouthpiece we're not going to like squeeze and bite too hard you want to be kind of firm but you don't want to pinch too hard so for example make my u face and nothing's coming out. So what's happening is I'm actually pinching too hard. And if you'll see the reed right here, um, when we blow, it wiggles, and that's what makes the sound. So when I pinch too hard, it closes that shut, and then no air can get through there. Okay, so we want to be firm in our corners and in our chin more than here. So e u.
So you can see how my chin is pulling down, my corners are back, okay? Another thing, some of us are gonna get this. So if I'm feeling air come out the bottom, but I'm not getting that nah sound, okay? We need to grip a little bit tighter. So what I did was, I just tightened up just a little bit here. But if I'm too tight here, no air will come out. So if I'm too loose, all I have to do is put a little more pressure here. Too tight. like the middle I just let go just a little bit so it's all about finding the right firmness if you will so when we play we want to be ew and it shouldn't be able to wiggle like I can move this but I'm not getting this so it's nice and firm If I'm like too far into the mouthpiece like this, when you get that kind of awful sound, okay, you've got too much mouthpiece. Now if I've got too little mouthpiece, it's going to sound like this. Like really unsteady and kind of weak sounding. So you got to get, again, about a pinky nail's width down, bottom lip over bottom teeth, Close down, and then corners are back, chin is flat. Now, if I don't tuck my bottom lip and I do this, I can't make a sound and I get that awful kind of squawk sound. So, no bottom teeth. Again, sorry, this is, this is bad. No. That doesn't work. Bottom lip. Cushion. Bad for the mouthpiece. Ah. Teeth. Close. Too loose. Too tight. Just right. So I'm feeling some pressure here, okay? But I'm not feeling like, or like squeezing, okay? So I'm feeling kind of a gentle pressure all the way around my face, but I'm not squeezing, okay? So last time, so try it this time from the milkshake face. So. Okay, so hopefully those things help. Again, make sure you're not puffing. If your cheeks are puffing, practice if you have a straw you can blow through or um, if you have, just make a little circle. You have to engage the corners in order to blow without puffing those cheeks. Okay, so Eww, bottom lip, pat teeth, close down. And I'm not pushing really hard with my top lip at all. It's just nice and firm. Okay, and a lot of times we don't blow enough air. We have to blow a lot faster than we think we do. So we always talk about um, like we're blowing out our candles on a birthday cake. So that's kind of how fast our air needs to move. So hopefully this helps. Please, please watch this. Um, please try to get this sound tonight so we can keep working in class tomorrow because it's really tricky when I can't see faces. So hopefully this helps and happy practicing. Bye.